chicken boy what a weekend okay karma again let's just say the angelinos that happened to stay in town were wishing it was karma again every weekend and everybody stood off the freeway and harry potter well, tops the box office with worldwide 475 million dollars and for now we're going to bring old cam on with comments on the headlines of today and obama for the republicans to win in 2012 against him they need to destroy america well, I know. I, I hate, I, this is why I have leapfrog Obama. He's the one that's refusing to do anything without taxes. But he felt they will destroy America and turn this country over to the millionaires and billionaires. A millionaire being anybody who's worth the, the, you know two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which means virtually everyone that owns a house in Southern California is a millionaire, according to Obama. And mm. CBS poll: seventy-one percent of voters disapprove of GOP performance in Congress. Okay, here's the problem, folks: the Tea Party represents one third of the votes, and they're not going to support Obama. The Independents represent twenty percent of the vote, and they're not going to support Obama. And the Republicans represent. 35, 36 percent, and they're not going to support Obama. So there's no way on earth you're going to hit 71 percent of people saying that they think the Republicans are selling the country down the drain. Can't be mm -hmm. done, Matthew. But we're talking about Obama. Although I don't think they're doing a very good job at all. No. Well, no. But the Democrats are the ones in control. The Republicans aren't. Anybody remember yeah. that minor detail? And Obama to veto any bill that cuts government spending because it hurts those that support his party. Yeah, but that's the only truth about that one. That's the, that is actually the news item that came out. That he cannot support things that cut spending to those people that vote for me. Uh, he said just about those words. And London's top two police resign in UK hacking scandal. Which I don't understand. It's because they, this is, they should have known. Well... Uh, I think that they should have known that Abraham Lincoln was going to be assassinated. They should have known that, uh, that Pontius Pilate was going to wipe, wash his hands. Caesar should have known about the Eyes of March. Uh, of course, those are all great disasters, weren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. And Obama appoints an anti-business leader to Jobs Creation Board. Isn't that a brilliant thing? He said, you know what the problem with our country is? Is that the creation of jobs are left in the hands of businesses and not in the hands of government and unions like it should be. What? I, that's brilliant, isn't it? He's on the Jobs Creation Board and feels that businesses are the reason why the jobs... Well, Obama did have a meeting with the business leaders today and told the meeting that it's time for you to share in the responsibility of rebuilding this nation. And if you don't spend, start spending money, we're going to simply have to arrange for a means of it being done without your support, which means he's going to raise taxes, folks. Oh. And lawmakers work on debt ceiling plan B as deadline looms. Okay, what has happened is the old guard Republicans who don't have never seen a dollar they didn't want to spend either are meeting behind closed doors. How about after midnight at night and talking with President Obama about giving him the authority to uh, do the cuts and all the stuff himself? Uh, you know, and he'll, he'll I mean, it's just, well, it will finally put the onerous on this president that he's anti business and anti military with his cuts. Well, they're not going to get those things put back in once he cuts them. Mm -hmm. He's got to do exactly what he wants to do, which is slice the devil out of all the jobs, everything. Anything that is pro-business, he's got to wipe out, folks. And they, well, it's going to show the world what he's like. He's a liberal Democrat. Mm -hmm. But they don't know that. No, they, so the Republican leadership does not understand. He's a liberal Democrat. Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, Part 2, sets a record at $475 million Okay, Okay, here, now here's the basic problem. We, this is why Leapfrog Obama is out again. That is a record, except for the minor detail, is that that movie's been on release for weeks out of this country. Oh, so do they all count as opening weekend? They're counting them as an opening time. The record still stands with the Pirates of the Caribbean because it was done in one week in, well, in oh. not in weeks. Well, the other part, I, I was always kind of curious about how the totals worked for, because we saw a double header. 
So we saw yeah. parts one and two, and so we paid more than a regular fee. Yeah. And then there's other people, too, that saw maybe the whole series. Yeah. And what they're doing, okay, I'm going to explain, so I'm going to try leapfrogging over the truth also of this, too. They made $43.5 million for one performance, and then for the next six performances only made 40... About the same amount. About the same amount of money, which you know is a mathematical impossibility because the big audience is going to come in in the afternoon to see the movie, not at midnight, because it's the kids. The kids were not out in droves at the midnight. There were some... But we, I think they were showing it in three theaters where we were at. There was a, yeah. there were kids, but there were not a lot of them because it's basically a no-no to have them out after midnight. So the bulk of the money should have came afterwards, and it didn't. So something is wrong with the bookkeeping, folks. In latest twist, news of the world whistleblower is dead. I know. Isn't that amazing that the guy that basically said they were hacking is now dead? Wait, wait, wait. wait. The, from London? Yeah. Oh, really? How did he die? Uh, it was, I think it was shot and killed. Uh, mm -hmm. The problem is you got to understand that a lot of people in high places were not being hacked. They said they were being hacked because they were have, they were giving information out. Hint, hint, why some uh -huh. people in high places are losing their jobs. They were basically giving tips to people, and then they said, "Oh, we and they're blaming it on the hackers." Would yeah, actually, you know, like uh, Weiner did, and it didn't work with Weiner either. And the FBI, New Jersey couple kidnapped Israeli to force a divorce. I, I know. Uh, isn't that unbelievable? Like, they think it's going to be legal since they know that the crime was committed. Israel happens to obey the laws, folks. They will not, uh, they will not permit an divorce when you kidnap a person to have him to, to, to that country so that Israel will force him to divorce them. That isn't going to happen. They will ship you back to this country. Carmageddon is anticlimactic and expect it again next year. Okay, the problem was it wasn't anticlimactic. First of all, two people did die as a result of it, and all the businesses suffered like you cannot believe. They said, well, the bit, they did business elsewhere. No, they didn't. They didn't go anywhere. They just, they went, they went north, they went south, and they just sat on their butts. Oh. We saw shopping centers that were dead for two days, and then they didn't get back. They're still not in full operation today. And hackers break into Washington Post job site. I know. First of all, this you know, and our president wants to use the uh, use the uh, um, this system in order to protect all of our secrets and our and our healthcare secrets. Basically, I know I know little kids when they were little kids that hacked into the phone AT and T's phone system, and basically were giving out and the free use to cell phones to everybody at college. So that's how difficult it is. And Obama supports NLB plans to streamline the creation of unions. Oh yeah, you got 10 days. From the instant they start the ball rolling now, you have 10 days before the vote comes up. Which basically is 40 to 40, 30 to 45 days before it's done under the old wings, which gives a business a chance to mount a defense. This time, it's all, you know, basically they're strong-arming union, they're strong-arming people to sign a petition. And they're not going to stop strong arming them for that for ten you know, for ten days they'll strong arm them. And oh. So you'll have unions being created everywhere where no one wants unions. But it, the whole problem is is that what Leapfrog knows that our president doesn't know is that when he when eventually he will be he will go out of office. They want to impeach him now. It's just a matter of how far he's gonna push the Democrats before they do throw him out. And then Biden goes up and Biden it can be worked with. And Democrats trying to outlaw the Tea Party. I know. It's un-American. It stands for everything that is wrong about our nation. The whole nation is top spending. <laughs> and they want you to obey the law. You know What it means is they stand for everything against, like Bonyard and, and, um, and McConnell stand for, which is to continue spending or give power away. And great default may be inevitable, as the Soros report. They defaulted twice already. They, okay, Greece has defaulted twice, nobody's paying any attention. Portugal is defaulting, Ireland is defaulting, Spain is defaulting, Italy is defaulting. Has anybody paid any attention to that? No, because they're all wrapped up on the fact that we can't default. It's a total and mathematical impossibility. As long as you pay the interest on your loans, you don't default. And we make more than that money, much money a month is coming into the treasury. They will, they can't, they're mathematically impossibility to default. And Moody's cuts Ireland to junk and warns of second bailout. 
Because, and did anybody pay any attention that Ireland defaulted? No, they didn't. They always talked about Greece. Yeah, but they're not even talking about Green defaulting. Greece, I mean, because it's no big deal. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Politicians are always great in their own minds.